Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poli channel. This video I want to share about global lab update for 11 March 2022 maintenance update. But be notice all content on this global lab video was recorded on global lab server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server for next maintenance update. And following outside Korea server, if they or be feel this content already ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy your watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official website for Global Lab Update at 11 March 2022. First, they mention about Arena of Solare update. After first test for this Arena of Solare, Prebis just got so many feedback after this public test. As they mentioned, content for last test for this Arena of Solare is not final. And they still continue to adjust this Arena of Solare based on feedback from any participant. And they also mentioned adjustment for today Global Lab Update is not final. And they still continue to adjust this Arena of Solare on continuous testing. They mentioned for map of this Arena of Solare, maybe they will develop new map for Capital City Valencia. And they also will improving for convenience such as protecting function, opponent identification, user interface, and etc. And as always, they will prepare this adjustment quickly and apply it on Black Desert Global Lab server. And there are so many points for this week adjustment for this Arena of Solare. They will adjust final status for attack power, damage reduction, accuracy, and evasion that only apply 25% from the actual value from your gear. So for example, if you have total 524 AP in Arena of Solare, your AP only only apply for 131 during this match and so on for another stat and also during arena of solare all status for attack or casting speed critical and movement speed will adjust as level 5 instantly and also mechanic round for this match they will change it from base of 3 system to become base of 5 system so in future this arena of solare will have 5 round and the first team who reach 3 winner will win this match and also when entering this arena of solare they will apply this match during dialogue only so if you enter during night time, when you enter this arena of solare, you will instantly change to sunny day. And also in future camouflage function to hide any player identity will not apply. So in future if you using any kind of camouflage, your name still appear during this arena of solare match. And starting score for this arena of solare, they already changed it from 1200 to become 1050 point. But gain point when you winning or losing will adjust to be higher than before. And also on this global lab update, they just reset any match result from previous tests. And in future, they will improve waiting time will skip instantly when all adventure success to enter arena of solare. And they also adjust user interface for arena of solare window team. And also some other user interface, they already improve it. And when you winning this arena of solare, all character on your team will have cheering motion. And they mention they will hold another testing for this arena of solare on global lab server. And once again, this testing period will be announced separately on Black Desert Global Lab Notice. And if you want to watch about this arena of solare that I test first time on Global Lab Server for this first update, you can check my previous video about this arena of solare for my first test on Global Lab Server. Okay, next update about Battle Arena. In future, they will add skill in structure NPC, Tarkos, on this battle arena. In future, if you enter battle arena, when you just spawn on battle arena, you will see this new NPC, Tarkos, on this area. You can interact with him to adjust your skill and your skill add-ons. So you don't need to leave your battle arena to adjust your skill add-ons. But be notice you still need to pay to change your skill add-ons. Or if you have family buff, secret book of old moon active, you can do reset skill and change skill add-ons by free. Okay, next about class balancing. There are some class balancing for my Hua class. I think this is little buff for Mehua class because in future for this skill, they will increase this skill buff for plus 20 point all defense increase from 10 second to become 20 second when using this skill. And for Psy class, they just improve some skill to be can register and use in skill slot. Okay, next future update about item. In future, they will expand usability for this item, even corrupt oil of immortality, to craft any new elixir and perfume to become immortal type that if you consume this immortal type 
effect of this elixir or perfume when your character die all these buffs still active because of this immortality type of perfume or elixir and also they will update information for any item that related for tier 10 attempt like flower of oblivion royal fern root medical powder and any other else and also they will change some item name for training scroll and training elixir and also for artifact they will adjust some name for some artifact but i think this is not a big deal and also for some item they will adjust its price from central market compare with npc shop price okay next about new content especially for farming they will add new quest line to get one free fence that will not use contribution point but be noticed this fence size have 10 grid and you can do this special farming quest by using any character who reaches level 20 or higher from any NPC Liana from its town but be notice this is family quest that we only can do it once per family so we only can get this special fence one time as you can see this is NPC Liana on Felia City if you check normal quest by pressing A you will see this new family quest if I take this quest actually this is farming quest that we need to go to Martina Vinto NPC that located on Vinto farm and when we report to this Martina Vinto NPC we will finish this quest and start another quest line and we need to do some gathering and farming content from this quest line and for more detail about this quest line I will show you when this content apply on our live server in future and after we get this special fans Martina Vinto Heart Fans. They also add new quests to exchange this Martina Vinto Heart Fans to become Old Moon Fans type from Cloud NPC at Felia City. You can find this Cloud NPC at Felia City on this area on map. But to get this special quest from Cloud NPC, you need character who have farming level Master 1 or higher. And we only can do this quest once per family. And to finish this quest, we need to hand over 3 pieces Mysterious Seed and also 2 pieces Gold Bar 100G. And of course, 1 piece Martina Vinto Heart Fence to get one piece this Old Moon Fence and same as another Old Moon Fence that you get from renting this special Old Moon Fence that you get from this Cloud NPC quest will have 10 grit for this fence okay next content about hunting they will increase number of hunting monster by 20% on Calpeon, Valencia, Drikhan Kama Sylvia and Mountain of Eternal Winter. So if you do hunting content, you can more easy find any hunting monster on all this area. And next future update about user interface. In future, they will add ability to discard multiple item on your inventory. As you can see, if you open your inventory and click this trash bin icon, you can mark any item that you want to delete and click this delete button and confirm it. You will instantly delete all this item. And you also can use this restore function, but on global website server looks like this button still not work and also when i try for per item this function still not apply and we need to do this remove function using old method and another quality of life they will add sort function on central market warehouse and this sort function for central market you can find it from my central market function or from central market user interface when you interacting with any npc either storage npc or central market npc so you can sort any item on central market warehouse either by grade, enhancement level, weight limit, VT, or gear slot. And you also can set this sort function by ascending or descending, same as previous update for inventory or storage. And also for another fix and change for this content, system, and another change, I think all of this not too a big deal for us. Okay, that's all global app update for 11 March 2022. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership, and also my current member. Zekru, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Renegades X, Angel, Homi, Ayrton, Tepan Gaming, Kill Steel, Remy, Cloudy, Munpai BDO, Jan Andres, Jimon Finding GF, Token R42, Kaimana, Humeri, Demonite, Kozi, S Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly Channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful and as special thanks i will put your name on my video depend on your support level and be noticed for some level there are have some limit so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space and i will put your name on every subsequent video that i release for the duration of your support and if you want to join my membership to support me directly you can go to any platform for patreon karekarsa and youtube membership 
I already put link for this membership on this video description or you can check on top right of this video I already put card for Patreon link If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update Thank you for watching, see you next time